welcome back and the problem is the following reaction that is the decomposition of sulfur trioxide into sulfur dioxide and oxygen has an equilibrium constant equal to 0.23 m if the concentrations are as given below is the reaction at equilibrium and if not, which side must it shift to reach an equilibrium? So, as we all are aware, the equilibrium constant is shown by Kc and it shows the concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. In our case, the products are SO2, O2 and the reactants are SO3. Therefore, so what do we mean by this equilibrium constant? So, it's a ratio of the concentrations and the value has been given the value is 0.23 that is equal to the above image now how to decide whether this reaction is at equilibrium or not how to decide okay now we have to substitute these values if the values of concentrations of the products and that of the reactant are substituted and if this left hand side and right hand side they match then we can say the reaction is at equilibrium so let us see how it works 0 0.23 that is equal to so let's substitute the values That is the concentration of sulfur dioxide and we are having square of that. Then we go to oxygen. Concentration of oxygen is 0.561 and then divided by we have concentration of sulfur trioxide that is also square because we have two molecules of SO3. Now we will check whether this will tally with this left hand and right hand. So 0 0.48 into 0 0.48 into 0 0.561 and we divide it by 0 0.22 and once more 0 0.22 and the answer we get is 2.67 so the left hand side 0 0.23 the given value of equilibrium constant and the arrived value by substituting the concentration that is 2.67 do they match no they don't match Therefore, we can say the answer is Therefore, the answer is that the reaction, the reaction is not at equilibrium And as the next part goes If not, which side must it shift to reach equilibrium? I'll explain it in a very simple way Take a simple balance and just assume you are putting something in this balance on left hand side or right hand side now suppose this balance is having our reactants say SO3 on this side and the products 
on this side SO2 and oxygen now as you can see as the decomposition starts the reaction goes forward but what happens after some time some time these both of these combine recombine back and again they form the SO3 so both reactions are going on but one stage comes at which both reactions are equal and the balance is steady it becomes stationary now if this is the meter and you take this reading this whatever reading you take suppose that will be the value of equilibrium constant now this has been become steady and this is the value of equilibrium constant at that point you have definite concentrations of SO2 O2 and SO3 by ratio the ratio is fixed of these concentrations now coming to our example the above example the value of equilibrium constant is 0.23 and the ratio which we got is like 2.67 as to 1 so in other words we got the ratio the concentrations of SO2 and O2 as 2.67 and the concentration of SO3 as 1 whereas the concentration should be 2.023 as to 1 so what's our inference as regard to the change in concentration we can see the ratio which should have been the ratio which should have been 23 as to 1 sorry by not sorry which should have been point 23 as to 1 is 2.67 as to 1 so it means there is increase in concentration of the products the concentrations of the product are in excess of that required for the system to be in equilibrium do you understand that oh. as a result you see the balance is tilted in one direction now what you have to do to bring the balance back to its normal position you have to increase the concentration of the reactant that is SO3 isn't it exactly so as the concentration of the reactant is already there we cannot decrease that concentration but we can increase the concentration of or rather I would say the system can increase the concentration of the products so let us see how it will work out in a reaction so in this reaction as you can see if the backward re reaction proceeds more then we will have excess concentration of SO3 so that is now you can see which side if you are at the center if you are standing here which side is yours is it left side or is it right side this is the left side so the reaction has to proceed towards the left side and which it will automatically the system will try to go towards the left side in order to balance that excess concentration of the products and the balance will become like this in that case so in other words 
the system the concentrations they will try to adjust either by going this forward reaction or by a backward reaction or this forward reaction they will adjust themselves in such a way that the value of 0.23 is retained or maintained at that particular temperature so our answer is that equilibrium will try to shift towards the left and who was that person who put this part in theory can you name him? It was Lee Chatelier. Lee Chatelier put this 34th successfully. Thank you. Welcome back.